Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and in this video I'll be showing you how to unroot the Sony Xperia Z. So we currently have a Sony Xperia Z with us, uh, a C6602 that has root access with Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. So in this video I'm going to show you how to get it back to stock with a stock recovery so that you, uh, I mean in case you want to sell the phone or send it in for warranty purposes. This tutorial is applicable for both the C6602 and C603 variants. So guys, uh, this method is applicable to people who haven't uh, unlocked their bootloaders. If you have unlocked your bootloader and rooted your phone, in that case, hit the link in the description and that will take you to uh, a tutorial on XDA forums on how to relock your bootloader. Once you've relocked the bootloader, you can continue with this tutorial. If you followed my tutorial to root, it means you haven't unlocked your bootloader and you can just continue watching. So guys, what you need to do is hit link 1 from the download section in the description of this video and that will get you the update service set up. So just download it and install it. And once you install it, you can open it up, the update service, launch it. So just give it a few seconds to open up. So guys, as far as your contacts and apps and whatever you want, just go ahead, back it up first before you unroot your phone because uh, you will be losing your apps and data as well as any pictures or any, any kind of uh, videos or whatever you have on your phone. Everything will be wiped when you unroot the phone. So just give it a few seconds to open up. So guys, before you start, just make sure you have your USB cable, the battery charge over 50%. Uh, back up back up any data you want and uh, make sure the device is not connected to the computer so it is not connected right now so now click I hereby accept the license agreement and hit start so over here just choose your phone so we've got the Xperia Z today so hit Xperia Z and hit next So guys, now go ahead and turn off the phone and uh, give it about 30 seconds after it's turned off. So I'll be back with you in about 30 seconds. So alright guys, it's been 30 seconds now. Uh, so I'm back. What you do right now is hold, hold the down volume key. Alright, the down volume key and plug in the micro USB cable. Alright, just keep holding the down volume key. the device driver will be installed now if you can release the volume down key once you see it uh, mentioned over here so if you're already on the latest software it will say your product already has the latest software but just click this I have backed up everything and I need to and I need and wish to continue with the factory data, data reset so hit install so again you get a warning here stating all your personal data will be lost just go ahead and hit yes so right now the software will be downloaded and since i've already done this before i made the video because i tested it out before i made the video it completed immediately here otherwise your firmware will be downloaded so now the software will get installed as you can see so just give it a few minutes about five to ten minutes for the software to get installed and once that's done, your phone will reboot and uh, I'll be back with you guys once it's done. So there it is guys, it's done. So what you need to do is just unplug the micro USB cable now, close the flap and turn on the phone. So since the phone is rebooting now after, it's, uh, after the factory reset, uh, that is the flashing of the stock firmware the first boot will be longer than your regular boot times So don't be worried uh, It might take up to five minutes. So just give it time to reboot All right guys, we're back up here. So heading cancel Done. Yes done Accept Agree. So there you see we are up no more super user alphabetical 
super user has been removed and the phone is back to factory settings so you can now sell it or send it in for warranty without any issues so that's pretty much it guys for unrooting the sony xperia z if you guys run into any issues or if you have any questions you can hit us up at cusforver.com slash forums the link is in the description if you want to go ahead and reroute your xperia z at any point of time you can do that by following my video tutorial uh, the link to my uh, tutorial on how to route the xperia z is there in the description Again, with my tutorial, you will not have to unlock the bootloader, hence all your data will be retained. So, that's pretty much it. Hope you liked the video and uh, if, if you did, uh, just help me out. Leave a comment in the description saying it worked, you know, so that you can instill confidence in others who are planning to do the same, as in planning to follow this video. So, that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any requests for me, uh, if you want to hit me up or just stay updated on my latest videos and updates, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. All my contact details are in the description. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Again, before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. This is Ashia from CurseForward.com signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.